head developers. So in this part of Angular e-commerce project tutorial, we will learn that how we can integrate API for ad product. And uh, UI is uh, already done for ad product in last video. So what we need to do, so whenever we will just click on the ad product, we have to call the API through service. So these are the points. First of all, we have to make a API in the JSON server. JSON server is really a good library to make fake APIs. And we already created the two APIs there. Uh, first one is, uh, I just want to show you there. Uh, we just created the two API for seller registration and seller login. And now we will just uh, create another API for ad product. Uh, after creating the API, we have to test it with the postman. And uh, in our Angular project, we need to make a service so that we can call API through that service. We need an interface also so that we can define the type of product. Uh, type of product means like there is some fields like name, price, category and all. So we can define the type of these fields like name should be the type of string, price should be the type of uh, uh, number and all. And after that, we will call our API and test the complete flow uh, by adding two or three products. So now let's start with the first point and create a API. So as I shown you, we just open their uh, db.json and we already created the two APIs there. So to create a one more API, what we need to do there. So let's create a uh, one more array there with the name of product. Even products is a better way because there will be not only single product, there will be lots of uh, product, right? And that is the array and after that, uh, uh, we can just call the API and data will be added there automatically. We don't need to just uh, write any code and at all. So now what we need to do there to just check that this is working or not, just uh, open the local storage 300. And uh, now you can see that there is a two API seller. Uh, you just see there two object, but in seller we have two APIs, right? Uh, login and registration and the product there is a no product at all but uh, you can see that this API is working because there is a only blank array for a moment so now let's uh, just test it with the postman so just open the new tab select the post uh, method paste that URL go to the body row and uh, the data we can select the type of uh, JSON there right and now we just need to add some keys like uh, uh, these keys let me just show you like name price and all so let me add these keys and some uh, values like name it could be let's say iphone 14 after that uh, price mm, let's say mm, mm, 150 dollar after that uh, Let's see, we can add the color red. Next thing is uh, category could be mobile mm, description and description could be. Let's say, hello, this is Apple product or something. And last one is uh, we are just putting their uh, image URL. As I told you in last video, we are not going to upload image because uh, JSON server actually not supporting that. So in image key, we are just passing their uh, URL so that uh, mm, so that we, we can show that image uh, whenever we are just buying that product, right? The user will buy that product. So now you can see that the result is 201. That means this data is entered in our uh, product. Here you can see that and this API is perfectly working fine. So now let's, let's try to add some data through, uh, you can say that uh, um, UI from there, right? But for that, we need some functionalities and some code. So let me add a service first of all. So I'm adding a service with the name of services. This is a folder name and product my service. And uh, if you just want to check it, you can uh, see there in a service for a uh, last time we have two files, seller service and 
sailor service pack and now we added the two more files right so we don't need this uh, terminal anymore so i am just closing it and now let's open that product service file and let me create the function there uh, like add product right and uh, let's make a console for a moment console dot one and let me just say that service is called and now let's try to call this service on uh, our uh, add product file so I'm just creating a private property there and uh, that will be the instance of uh, product service and on a service I just want to make a console uh, let me just uh, call this dot product and add product right and uh, now let's see what we are getting there so as you know we did not added the validation for a moment because uh, uh, I will just make a separate video for validation and I will apply the validation in all all our project like in the sign up form registration form and all so if I'm just clicking over there you can see that service is called that is working fine great so now I am just passing this data from add product uh, console uh, submit to the add product and now we can just receive this data there only right but as I told you we just uh, mentioned there this is a type of object but it should be a proper type like uh, there should be uh, some input fields and all so let me just create an interface and we already created some interface I just want to show you there so like uh, we just created the sign up and login interface in our uh, data type .ts. so let me just create one more export interface product and uh, we can add some keys like uh, name could be type of string price could be the type of uh, number category again uh, string type next thing is color again string uh, all other things will be string just accept the price and uh, image again string description is again will be the string and now we can just simply use it in a product uh, uh, type of the parameter we can import it and the same thing we can do with the uh, you can see that uh, submit function data type and now there is a no error. that's great so after that what we need to do there to call the api we need a http client service so i am just making another, another property private property which will be http client and we can use this uh, property now so let me use this dot http dot post and our url so url is there i can just copy it from there and uh, like this and the next thing is we can pass the data and that's all right now the next thing is in let's get back to the our seller ad product component and just put their subscribe and keep in mind you must have to return this right otherwise maybe there is some issue or maybe data is not proper so subscribe will basically return a callback function so let me just console the data like, like what data we are getting there console dot one result right and we will fetch this result as a parameter from subscribe now we can see that uh, so let me just remove this data again because uh, I just want to show you that even we can enter us first data with directly with our API so even we will add some more data also but first of all let's just remove the make it empty and just try it so let me just make a Samsung M40 price is let's say $500 uh, category is mobile color is black description is uh, this is a Samsung product or something and URL I have a dummy image 
I know that this is belong to iPhone 14 or iPhone 13. So let me just uh, put that dummy image for a moment. So if I'm just clicking over there, then you have to just check that our API is calling properly or not. So I just click over there. You can see that response is 20120 means that a new record is created and now you can see that right so but you can see that api is called but there should be some message or something right otherwise user will not get to know that product is added or not so for that what we can do there let's get back to the seller area that there and let's uh, just create a property like this uh, what can be the property name like add product messages and it could be a type of string or undefined right and by default it will be undefined and uh, now uh, if our result is successfully working and this is true then uh, we can see that add product equal to product is added successfully successfully right so there will be a message but uh, i just want to add some style also so for a moment i am just uh, creating a dummy p tag and uh, let me add some style or class with it so we already have a red color class but i just want to make it green so color could be green right and i will add this class to that paragraph tag like there uh, let me add it class and that's it and here uh, that should be a dynamic property you know so we cannot just put this uh, static data so let me just edit this data now like this so once this will be visible after some uh, moment or time it should be just uh, automatically removed so for that what we can do um, i think we can simply add their uh, set timeout right set timeout and uh, time will be 3 thousand millisecond that will be three second and uh, this dot okay let me move that one and we can say that this is undefined again so now let's see i think it should work properly so now let me add their uh, iphone 14 price is let's say one lakh rupees not dollar that time mobile color could be black and apple product and uh, i'm just again adding that uh, image for url clicking over there data is stored there and now you can see that we have a message there right so and if you just want to check in the db then uh, again we can see that this is also inserted so that's all for this part and in next part we will uh, display the data uh, from added product like a product list. So thank you so much for watching this video and I am requesting you to subscribe my channel. Uh, please support me by just uh, like this video and share your valuable feedback in comment section. Thank you guys. Thank you so much.